What is going on guys, DBG here and I just played way too long for a card that is not very good. So, I just completed the Enos Counter card as you guys can see. Definitely was not the easiest grind in the world to do. Wasn't the most difficult, but I'm not, I'm gonna tell you guys it was not the easiest grind. It just took time more than anything, it wasn't... Like you just had to, I had to play, you couldn't do it in triple threat challenges, which all triple threat challenges, which is probably the worst practice scene for heat check players. And it wasn't even that cheap either. Before we get on to, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to 446,000 subs by the end of tomorrow. We're going to be quite close. Right now we are almost at 600. So it's going to be a very, very close one. But yeah, so basically, to complete these, you need to win these two moment challenges. Which I complete these moment challenges. And one annoying thing is that, like, you can complete the Tatum one. And I forgot to get the double-double. I got 53 points. Forgot to get the rebounds or assists. Um, these are all pretty easy to do, to be honest. Um, you can do these ones all quite easily, except for the Tatum one. Probably not even going to do a Tatum one. But thankfully, I did the Tyrese Halliburton one, I guess. I got 800 for getting 60 points of Tyrese Halliburton. But basically, with these challenges right here, they are the moments ones. You need 44 points of Gary Trent, 50 point DTO challenge, get this done in five minutes. Score 42 points with Donovan Mitchell, 50 point triple chat challenge, get it done in five, six minutes. Um, 30 rebounds of Portland Trailblazers players, I just did it while doing this one. Four Clippers heat check players. One thing I will say though is that these cards are expensive. Like I, I bought my Gary Trent for like 8,000 old maidens of orange, so I lost 400 there. The Clippers heat check players are so expensive. Like they're so expensive. Like, these guys, you're paying 8, 9k. So I don't advise anyone to grind for these guys, for this card. Like, he's not the worst. He's not, the, like, he's not the greatest center in the world. He's not the worst center in the world by any means. But I would not advise anybody, anybody to go get him. Because at the end of the day, like, you need to have to pay, like, 45k worth of cards. In those Clippers heat checks players. And if you have any Clippers heat check players or Gary Trent or Donovan Mitchell, go and sell them. Thankfully, I had the easy Donovan Mitchell from last season. But um, yeah, Enos Cantor is a moments reward card. I was thinking he was going to be a locker card, but obviously not. I'm not that disappointed because the moments agenda is pretty easy, can't lie. So I'm not that. Or it's, it's a pretty easy and it's a pretty decent chunk of XP. So let's just make any old squad. And let's have a look at Enos Cantor. So he is a center so he's a 94 overall center he does not come with clamps but he's got half catch and shoot half corner special half difficult shots half break wall half post spin half drop stepper he has got lob city finisher half um hook specialist which is deep hooks and current champ they kind of ruined deep hooks he's also got rise up fade ace giant slayer set shooter um he's got gold range extender as well like only 35 badges is not it it's not it but he's got an unbelievable post game He's an 85 three ball. He's an 80 driving dunk. Like, like moderately good ball handling for next gen, not good for current gen. He's got a decent enough block, not great defense. Speed is meh. Out of quickness, not great. So, I mean, he just reminds me of, like, this dude here. Like, he very much reminds me of Aaron Baines. Like, yes, he's way better in the post than Aaron Baines. Baines is better on defense. And they're very similar speed-wise. Baines is a little bit better laterally. Badges wise, obviously you've got more to you got more total on Baines with more Hall of Fame on Cantor. Like he very much, I reckon he's gonna be very, very much another Aaron Baines. So one thing about Cantor though is the guy has got base 38 on very quick. He's the only player in the game, which is interesting to see what it's like. Okay. Um Doesn't feel that different to base 38 on quick, but it's nice. That's a really good release. Like he can do... I'm trying to think. I was like, he can do the explosive, I'm pretty sure. Can he... What type of an escape is that? Can kind of do the explosive? Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is. But his release is good. That, that's literally it. His cards... He's, he's a center with an unbelievable release. So, if we get a better Enos Cantor later on in the year, I mean, he could be very nice. Because his release is unbelievable. Actually, wait a minute. 
Eddie Curry has got base 38 and very quick. We could get a god tier Eddie Curry later on, dear. We can get like a pro dribble stick Eddie Curry. He's got the same base as this card here. And I know I'm not greeny as much as I normally would with the cards, but that's just because I'm not really used to the, um used to using the card, but I'm telling you, not he's cash. He's cash, like. His post game is pretty good. Obviously, drop step game is good. Um, if you are coming up against a little guy, the um, did they really nerf hooks on this gen? No, they didn't. Thankfully, like he can still post hook from everywhere. Like, like literally, I'm post hooking from further than current gen post hooks. Like literally, like it still is crazy. Hook specialist is still, still a pretty decent badge. Like one of those ones though. Like, what did they do to stick shooting? Like, the post hooks. At least the window's bigger. I'm telling you, they did something to post hooks. They did something to it. People were saying it was just on... No, no, there was a hot fix on both gens. They've done something to post hooks. Either way, though, it does appear that the window is... What the hell? Okay, stick aiming is basically worthless now. Did they change stick shooting as well? Okay. No, this feels the same. Yeah, it doesn't feel any different. That does. How the hell are you meant to stick shoot now? They broke, like there was no Zens on next gen for stick shooting. But you broke the Zens. Or not you only broke the Zens, you broke the actual stick shooting. Because there are a lot of there were a lot of legitimate stick shooters out there. There were a lot of legitimate stick shooters, and now it's like beyond worthless. But uh, yeah, so you have the sniper badge to improve stick shooting, but you ruined it yourselves, TK. So anyway, now let's just green one three. Why not you do it with the stick? And now let's get on to the game. That's disappointing. That is disappointing that. It Whatever happened to the stick on current gen, something happened to the stick on next gen as well. Man. I miss I miss the stick god DBG days. I miss being the best stick shooter in the world. For that first for week one DBG. And uh, people still people still to this day. I still have people to this day in my comment section that are telling me that I'm lying saying I was one of the top ten players in the world. Because nobody was stopping me week one. Week one DBG was like was a different level. Like week one DBG was a completely, completely different level. Like mainly because I figured out stick shooting before anyone else, and no one you couldn't really shoot any other way unless you were splash. Good defense. He made that. He made off 52? He doesn't even feel that slow in his counter. There we go. That may or may not have been going in. Luckily enough, it's only Bamba. There, we're there. Good contest. Big board. Counter's arms are pretty long as well. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's his post hook. Let's go. Good shot there by Kanter. Like, at least, again, at least Kanter is something he's good in the post. I would not, like, I wouldn't even half consider using this card on current gen. But, like, you can see there on next gen, like, he didn't just get sprinted by by Beal. Whereas in current gen, Beal would just sprint by him. And then it's just game over. Like, that's, that's good. He blew it. You are kidding me. He hits a white and a 52. And Danny Ferry really is the best, isn't he? There we go. Nice post hook there by Canter. He's struggling. He's struggling guarding Canter. Oh, that's my fault. Good defense. Good defense. Green that. There we go. Good shot there by Kanter. Okay, let's drop back. Good shot. 
There we go. He finally missed one. That's his range. That's his range. And that's green from Cantor. Okay. He's not half bad on this gen. Well, he's not good. He's just chicken. <laughs> like. That's the thing about this gen. Shooting means more than anything. We're there. I'm pretty confident he's going to shoot with Fet. Beal. Dude's whiting with Beal, though. Can I green that one? Probably a perfect time. We just got shot a heavy. Deny. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Enos Gandhi. Okay, he's got the... He's got the speed between the legs, which is all right. Snatch back. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Drop step him. Drop step him. Drop step him. To the basket. Good dunk, Enos Gandhi. Let's go. I'm telling you, this guy is... This guy's on... He's not as bad as I thought he was. I'm, I'm not going to use him. I still would not suggest for anyone to go and get him. But he's not, like, the worst card in the game. Hop step in. Fake him up. Step through. Nice. Enos Kander is a post guard right here. With a chicken release. It's just a pity he's slow and can't play defense. And the post hooks are kind of broken, especially on current gen. Oh. Oh. He just explosive by... Bradley Beal. He's explosive behind the back by Bradley Beal. Man, this is... He's literally... He's better Iron Banes. That's the best way I can describe him. He's better Iron Banes. If you've ever used Iron Banes, he's better Iron Banes. That's open. It's green. Oh, he missed. It's fine. There we go. He finally greened. This guy finally greened out here. Oh, walk it back. Slide to the left. Green that. Green light. Let's go, Enos Ganter. I'm pleasantly surprised by this card. I'm pleasantly surprised. Is he going to make my team? No, I got Mel Daniels. If this card was out a month ago, though, he might have made my team. When I was running Aaron Baines at point at center... If this counter came out then, I would be running Enos Kander. Like, I would... I'm pretty sure I would be running Kander. If... If he came out of time. Oh, we got a time consumable spike. Oh my god, let's see, can we get it? His game nine, so we got four ball drops, then we can quit. Come on, we're off. One more bounce on one of them. Thanks. We got four ball drops to get one of them. I'd rather get two, but I still want Julius Randle a little bit more. So I will reset, though, because it's better than, like, a quantum pack. Give me that. We missed it. Those corners are so hard to hit. Those corners are, like, hitting the corners in the... in Back in the day, in the old triple trap boards. The middle boards. It's right in the middle. We really on there? We landed there from dropping it in the corner. All right. One last try. One last try. Come on, we're actually in decent enough shape right here. No, we're right. We missed it. Uh, it is what it is, lads. It is what it is, I guess. Close up. I want to win one more game. I want another chance. I want chances at those dime consumable spikes. We get six ball drops again if we if we miss, so not the end of the world. But um Yeah, I'm I'm happy I'm happy with this card. I think he's actually like a surprising, surprisingly average card. Like I thought he was gonna be awful. But he's that explosive is pretty nice. He's, he's, gar he's a garbage man on current gen. Do not use the guy on current gen. I'm telling you right now. Do not use him. He's like worse amount of Sabonis. But on next gen, he's not bad. He's, he's one, one of the best releases in the game, though. For a big man, he's I'm trying to give centers. He's the, he's the best. He is the best. Has the best release of any big man I've used in the game this year. Doesn't really do much else good, though. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.